Nintendo presents... Our great Mother Earth, since 7,000 years, a time of despair has come. We pray to the heavens for help, for seven years and seven months and seven days. Deities, please show yourselves. Light of five colors gathered at the appearance of a sword of light. A miracle finally occurred. He was a giant who became our guardian god. From the day he shone light from his sword, the evildoers were silenced. When light from his shield radiated, the evil ones turned to stone. The god created a new age, dragons lived as humans, and the evil ones were sent deep underground. The god, with his graceful kindness, saved humanity and gave them a gift. When the dark dragon awakens again, the Chosen One of the God will use his sword to repel darkness. It's time for... Fire Emblem! The mystery of the emblem it's a new let's play, so I don't get bored with the Prince of Persia. Yes, that's right, it's time for a second Fire Emblem LP, but don't expect this one to be updated constantly. And don't expect it to become my new one. But, I love this game a lot, and I want to get into it already. And yeah, I don't want to get bored with Prince of Persia, so, you know how it is. So, this is the game with Marth. The Super Nintendo Remix, to be precise. Plays much more like a traditional Fire Emblem, and as you can see, we got two books here. War of Darkness, War of Heroes. This is the original NES game, slightly condensed for our convenience. And this is the new game story. We're gonna start with book one here. So it's time for all of you to learn the true story of Marth. In the distant past, the continent of Akania was invaded by the Dahura Empire, led by the Mamkut King Madeath. The people lived in fear and despair. The Holy Kingdom of Akania, which had always guarded the world, was also destroyed by the horrific power of the Dark Dragon. The world was facing ruin. However, a miracle occurred. Avri was a youth from the town of Arishia. He went on a perilous journey to obtain the Divine Sword of Light, Falchion, and used it to challenge and defeat the Dark Dragon Madeath. With Medius' fall, the Tahura Empire was vanquished. The Kingdom of Akania was restored, and the world entered an age of peace. Taking lead from the Kingdom of Arishia, many other countries also began to rebuild themselves. But, a hundred years after the war with Tahura, after many years had passed, Medius resurrected at Tahura. He allied with the neighboring kingdoms of Gurnia and Macedonia, and restored the Tahura Empire. Also, he joined forces with Cadine's Archbishop Garnef who shared the same ambitions of ruling the world as him, and launched an attack on the kingdom of Akania. Akania fought to the death, but under Gurnia's general Camus and Medius' might, they suffered terrible losses. Aside from Princess Nina, the royal family was wiped out. Arishia's King Cornelius possessed the bloodline of Henri. Left to defeat Medius, he took the Falchion, Divine Sword of Legends, to battle, but was betrayed by Arishia's ally Gra and died. 
Following him, the kingdom of Arishia also fell. Prince Marth, just 14 years of age, managed to escape with the help of his elder sister, Princess Ellis, and he fled to the distant island country of Talos. Things getting real deep now, aren't they? Well, actually, not really. This game's kind of flat compared to Farmer 4, so you're going to be expecting a lot more um, commentary from me to keep you interested. But that's okay, because that's how I like to play this game. Chapter 1, Marth's Journey. Prince Marth of Arishia was chased out of his homeland by the Dahura Empire. He was protected by the Arishian Knights, led by the veteran knight, Jigen. And he escaped, after much struggle, to the eastern island, Kingdom of Talos. The Kingdom of Talos was a small country without even its own knights, located at the frontier. The King of Talos lent his eastern fortress to Marth, and offered him assistance. After the death of both his parents and his beloved sister's capture by the Empire, Marth felt anxious. Prince Marth, I understand your concern for your sister. However, you're only 14. You're too young to fight the Empire. Please wait for now. Here you can train until you become strong. Under the caring protection of Talos' citizens, Marth has passed two years at this country. Right now, it is fast approaching the day that he becomes 16 years of age. Here we go. Yeah, it's a downgrade for Final Four, but it's still a great game. Now, who are these a-holes? Who invited the axe guys? And who invited that thief? He ruined the village before I could even move, douche. Prince Marth, Sheeta has come from Talus Castle. What? Sheeta? What's happened to the castle? Marth, I am glad to see you. The guard of pirates suddenly attacked us. They took over the castle and killed lots of people. Please, you've got to come rescue my father. Don't worry, Sheeta. The bravest Arisha knights are here in this fort. We won't lose to those pirates. Come, let's go to Talos Castle together. That's an intro? I liked it better in the Animu. It was cool in the Animu. Oh well, we won't actually be doing any playing in this episode because we've got like two minutes left. Okay, let's introduce the characters. Of course, we got... Why does it say Mar? Is it so hard to put a TH there? It's Marth! 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 Whatever, here's Marth. And all of his little pantsless... 16-year-old boy glory. He's kind of a pussy right now, but he'll get better in the second part of the story. His growths are okay. His starting stats are pretty nice. He's not gonna become amazing. But, you know, he could be worse. This is Sheeta, Marth's love interest. Well, would-be love interest. She's a Pegasus Knight, has lots of speed, skill, and luck. Real dodgy, but not particularly tough. But she's a pretty good unit. Besides, I like to use her. This is Abel. He's the Green Knight. He starts out fast in skill, but grows tough and strong. Kind of a weird growth there. Stones with a javelin. He's sort of relaxed about everything. Doesn't worry about the little details. But always clean... But always knows how to clean up shop. Here's Cain, Abel's brother. He starts out strong and tough, but he becomes fast and skilled. And he's overly dedicated and tends to miss out on the small details of things, which causes him to, you know, kind of a berserker. But he's cool too. Doga! Doga's one of my favorite characters. He was kind of useless on the NES, but here he's awesome because he can promote. He's an armor knight, he doesn't look like much now, but he's gonna get more speed than you can believe. He is much better than Arden. Plus, look at that cool hair. How can you not like someone with hair like that? Here's Gordon. Gordon's an enthusiastic youth and one of Mark's close friends. He's mediocre all around. Not much else to say about him. Just, yeah, he's an archer. And since you get him so early, you might as well use him. And this is Jigen. Jigen just sucks. Sorry, Jigen. You just suck. You're terrible. Oifi was good, but you're not. He, his stats look good, but you realize he's a level 1 paladin, okay? That's not good for a level 1 paladin. And now we're out of time, so stay tuned for more Let's Play Fire Emblem, Mystery of the Emblem. Stay tuned, everyone!